Welcome, guys. This is Mauricio from cloudwords.net, and you're watching video number six and the last video of our series, Dropbox versus Google Drive versus OneDrive versus iCloud versus Amazon Cloud Drive. I know this is really massive. That's why we've broken it down into individual sections that you can access here in the playlist. Or if you like, you can read our in-depth article with all our findings here on the side or down below in the description window as well. This video is about Amazon's Cloud Drive. I hope you enjoyed and remember to subscribe to get more awesome content like this one. Amazon Cloud Drive is like the new kid in the school who used to be a hotshot, but isn't really anything in this brand new school with big players all around. It's definitely trying to come on, on the top of the hierarchy, though the future looks a little dim to be honest right now. Basically, this cloud storage service is focused more on photos and maybe backup. If this were just a photo backup or a backup app, it would have been actually good or decent, but mixing everything up just makes it more messy in my opinion. But let's look at the plans and pricing first. Amazon does not provide free storage, sad face. There is a three month trial period, but that's basically it. You can get five gigabytes of data storage for $11.99 per year and unlimited storage for $59.99 per year. As I said before, Amazon did, get out, did give out unlimited storage for $5 this year's Black Friday, but we don't know how long that scheme will actually hold. An Amazon Prime member will get unlimited storage for photos, which is definitely a pretty good deal if you're a Prime member anyways. You should go for it and maybe use it as a secondary backup option or to dump just some files that you don't need anymore on your hard drive, but don't really wanna delete them. Now, file syncing. File syncing is pretty non-existent with Amazon to Cloud Drive. Instead, you have to manually download your file from the cloud, make whatever changes you want, and then, upload it again. There is no local copy save in your system. It is a hard drive in the cloud, if you will. That's why it's not really comparable to other syncing apps. When you'd like to restore a folder or file, you need to do this via the web app because the native app only allows you to download your entire cloud drive. There are a couple of options to circumvent this, which I have presented in another video that you can access right here as well. Downloading folders from the cloud drive is pretty swift and Amazon packs your files quickly into a downloadable zip folder. However, with six minutes and 54 seconds, it's way, way behind its competitors, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Google Drive. In terms of uploading one gigabyte, Amazon is left behind the pack with a total of 38 minutes. You can get a speed comparison in our article or by clicking right here. Now let's look at sharing capabilities to see if Amazon can make up a lack in file syncing. Another thing I did not like about Amazon Cloud Drive was that you cannot share folders. You can only share files. In fact, you can not share more than 25 files in one go. That means if I'm using Amazon and I wanna share more than 25 files with someone, I would have to use the good old zip way, which makes it basically no real sense to me. Also, Amazon Cloud Drive has absolutely no collaboration features, really nothing. So it stacks up pretty badly against OneDrive and especially, especially Google Drive. I really don't know about you, but I do a lot on my mobile these days. That's why I'm always looking at mobile access capabilities of files and uh, especially photo storage because I have a lot of photos, terabytes of photos. The service has mobile apps for Android and iOS apart from the Mac and Windows desktop app. The mobile app does have an automatic image upload tool just like the other um, syncing services have as well, but the uh, desktop apps are a little bit disappointing with very limited features, though the web app is actually pretty good and, and works fast. Now, Amazon Cloud Drive was first launched as a photo storage app, which later grew on to accommodate all kinds of files. The app definitely has a lot of features for photos. You can preview all the images stored and see a slideshow. With um, Amazon Instant Video app, you can connect a smart TV and see your photos on big screens, but 
It doesn't display metadata about pictures like Flickr does, and there are basically no editing features available on the app directly. Now, Amazon Cloud Drive can definitely be used as a place to store images by Amazon Prime members since, as I mentioned before, that will cost them nothing extra. But really paying for this cloud storage service doesn't make sense right now since all you get is a lot of storage and no other extra features. I would definitely want to hold on and see what the company has to offer in future, how they're going to uh, develop Cloud Drive uh, in future. Well, thanks for watching this video series on the big cloud storage companies. Of course, there are plenty more options out there. Your first stop is certainly our comparison you can access right here, but let's point out some honorable mentions for you to explore that didn't make it in the big boys list. The first one is Yada Cloud, through which you can get, well, at least, well, complete privacy because it is based in Norway, bye bye NSA. It provides five gigabytes of storage for free and unlimited storage for only $9.99 per month. Another secure alternative is Treasurit, which is based in Hungary and Switzerland and claims to keep your data secure and encrypted. It provides one, one terabyte of encrypted storage for 16 euros per user per month. If you're still worried about your data security, then you should definitely opt for Spider Oak, which has a strict zero knowledge policy. That means no one at the company has any knowledge about the contents of your data because you have the keys to that data on your computer. But with such great privacy features, you also have to pay a higher price for it. You get 30 gigabytes of storage space for $7 per month. There's also the Canada-based file storage and syncing service, sync.com, which has also a zero-knowledge encryption policy. With uh, its privilege access controls and five gigabytes of storage free, this is really a great service to try and you should really explore that more in depth. If you like what you see in our videos, please subscribe right here and leave your comments below this video or questions. I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions you have around these services and we'll see us in the next video. Bye-bye.